Hey guys, still getting tons and tons of requests for um, help on how to make the Complexstro sound and how to sequence them. Mo mo more often than not, people are telling me that they're trying to arrange and chop up all their sounds and it's the actual riff just isn't sounding uh, very cool and I guess together. So this is just a bit of a video to um, help you see how I do my Complexstro arrangements um, and it may give you some ideas for how you can do it to yours. This is just going to be rough. There's no touch-ups mixing. It's, it's just here to show you guys some ideas and help you out. Okay, so um, oh, here's uh, a little... It's going to sound something like this, I suppose. Okay, so just one little bar, but with about five sounds in it. Okay, so this is just, uh, we'll start with this first synth, our foundation um, blast, I guess you could you could call it. So I'll just go through this pretty quickly. So I'm sorry if you don't see every move, but I'll try my best. Okay, let's just bring it to square first of all. Bring it down to octaves to minus 24. Okay, second oscillator, turn it on. Um, bring it to about here. Bring it down one octave to minus 12. Do a little bit of mixing with the oscillators, so they don't. Um, I don't actually like it when I have the second oscillator turned up uh, full, so I just bring it down a little bit. Uh, third oscillator, find the sin triangle one, so we can have a sine wave. Bring that one down two octaves to minus 24, like so. Again, push these all up to filter one. Filter one, put a low pass, turn it all the way up. And bring down the resonance, but leave it so it's got a little bit. Um, like so, make sure when you have you go into the amp envelope, which is number four, and make sure this uh, sustain uh, sustain is pushed all the way up, so the sound volume doesn't sort of taper away after a few seconds. Okay, what have we got now? We're looking pretty good. I mean, you can spend ages trying to get this main foundation bass line sounding pretty dirty, but I'm just here to show you. Uh, classic tube, some sort of distortion, turn the dry right up, bring the drive a little bit down. Chorus, this is probably one of my favorite little tricks, not even a trick really, but I actually always add a little bit of chorus to my bass lines because it sort of just sort of makes them a little bit wider and warms them up a little bit. Uh, so I bring it right down, bring the rate up a little bit, bring the rate right down so you don't get that much of it. Go into the EQ, give it a slight bit of presence and a bit of low end as well. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how I had it. If I go on the voicing, make sure it's on mono. Okay, excellent. So that's that's my first uh, foundation synth made there. And I will just play just a simple note in, like something like so. Okay, so it's just for that one from the very first kick to the snare. Okay, that's the first one done. Okay, so I'll make the second sound now. Uh, all I did was duplicate that synth that I've just made, the first one. This is a good idea to get ideas to make things a bit quicker. I often just duplicate the synth above me and uh, make a slight change. Okay, so this next synth... Um, we're going to make, why not make a little bit of a, uh, a wobble. Okay, so this is our synth here. Um, let's just change it up. Let's just go to the oscillator. Bring that one all the way down to square wave as well. Turn this one fully up. Um, let's go into the voicing tab, which it already is. Let's put it on 2. Turn this on here so it goes really, really wide. Okay. Um, another good trick for when you're sequencing your bass lines for your Complexstro stuff, try and go from su some, a sound that's narrow to wide, because it sounds cool. So why not do it? So, alright. Okay, so that's how we had that there, and let's just obviously put an LFO onto the filter up here. Um, like so. Uh, we will just... Go in here, and we'll push this all the way up, because we just want this one here. 
let's bring it so that it starts from low. This is the sequence of the LFO. Um, let's click sync, 1 to 16. There you go, an easy wobble. The synth sounds very similar to the first one, so it's going to be, um, it's going to be, you know, cohesive. It's going to sound properly uh, mixed in type, type of thing. Okay, so this is how I'll play it now. Okay, so that's just exactly the next, from the snare to the kick. Alright, next synth. Okay. Next synth, I just duplicated the wobble sound, and now I'll make uh, my next synth. Uh, let's push this one here, so it sort of goes back to that other first sound. Um, like so, let's just mute this one here, so that the LFO isn't affecting the filter anymore. Um, go back to the, voice, the voicing tab, put it back to 1. Okay. Uh, now then we will do some pitch modulation, like, let's take the envelope here and uh, take it to these three oscillators hold the zero, click, push up to 12, one octave for all three of them uh, like so um, and what we will do is we'll make the attack sort of a little slow here Bring the decay down, bring the level down. What have we got now? Okay, this will be this will be good. This is just a, a certain sound, you know, just a it complex to try and get as many synths to sound like they're moving or filters opening, pitch modulation, this, that, wide, narrow. Just keep on chopping between different sort of uh, sounds different elements to those sounds so this one's going to be a sound with some pitch modulation okay now then I'll probably uh, when I play this note in I'll have it so I um, I'll have it Let's play this one's in there you won't actually hear it okay so here we go uh, I'll play it so there's a little gap you can see there and I'm going to fill that gap in with another synth probably a, a stab synth so this is what we've got now. Okay, next synth. Okay, so now I'm going to make a little stab pluck sound to fill in that little gap I just showed you before while I was making that uh, pitch modula modulated synth. And uh, I'll use it, uh, I'll use the ES1 to make this sound. That's our standard sound, it's awful. Bring the cutoff down, leave the drive there, that's fine. Uh, click 16, bring this mix slider here to about there. Click that one, leave it on the saw, bring the resonance down. Um, about there is fine. Uh, click that little button there, so this sets back this slider, push that there, so it's like that, push the decay and the sustain up, bring the attack down a little bit, okay so we can't really hear much because the cutoff is down, so we'll use this mod envelope here, click cut off, push it all the way up that slider, it's pretty good sound actually this ES1, I always use it, and uh, bring the decay down until it says minus 340 there you go, there's a fat stab that's going to go nicely between this sound here okay, so I'm going to put a stab just between there again I'll play the note, you won't hear me play it in but now it should sound something like this Okay, so I've got that, that stab in the middle of those two other sounds. And we've almost made our first bar. There is just enough uh, room for one more sound, and I will show you how to do that now. So this, I'm going to make a little uh, filter build-up synth just for the end of the bar here. 
So again, this is my, my standard sound. Alright, okay, so let's go to the, um, to the voicing tab like so. Put the unison up to 4. Leave it on uh, poly. Pan position. We'll make it nice and wide. Turn this pitch cut off, which is sort of like a big uh, global detune type of thing. Uh, move it in so you can see three little white ones and a big white one. Um, okay, so next thing's next. We're going to leave it on the saw. We're going to bring this down to um, 12. And we'll do a little bit more detuning ourselves. Put it down this one here, the, uh, the scent to 90. Push up to filter 1. For the second oscillator, turn it on. Saw wave. Bring it down to minus 12. Like so. Filter 1. And for the third one, turn it on. Saw wave. And leave it at this default here. Filter 1. Filter 1. Make it a low pass. Leave the cutoff there for now. We're going to use an envelope to open it for us. Bring the resonance down. Like so. That's what we've got so far. Why not use a bit of chorus? Help thicken the sound up. Works great with these sort of trancey type sounds. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so now we're going to use an envelope to route to the filter. And it's going to open it for us. So click there, hold it, drag up. And you can see the envelope is going to follow this line here. So the cutoff is going to follow this line, sorry. Okay, like so. Um, now, to make it fit in, I'm going to need... I don't want... Um, I don't want this envelope to kick in straight away. So I'm going to put a little bit of a delay on it. So this delays the envelope from engaging. And I'm going to have the attack here. Um, I, I sort of know in mind what I'm going to be doing with this synth, so that's kind of why I'm, I know where to put these settings, but don't worry about that. It's all just learning. Copy it. You'll learn yourself as well. Okay, so uh, that's about how I had it. So you can hear that. It's what, like I said, a swelling sound. It, it's swelling up because it's starting there and the cutoff is following the envelope and it opens all the way up. Piece of cake. So again, I'll play uh, the note in. And then now the bar should sound completely finished. Okay, now that's also, this is a good technique. This sort of swell pulsing up uh, trancey sound is great at the end of a bar because it sort of builds into that next foundation sound, you know, back on the one. So, okay, I think that's, that's good enough for now. Um, if you think it sounds like shit, it, I didn't. Uh, it's just something I've made up now on the spot. So I hope this has helped you to make some complex row type sequence bass lines. And also I made sort of four or five cents. So I hope me showing you how I made those four or five cents helped you out as well. Um, cool. Thanks guys and uh, appreciate all your support. And I hope to see you watching my next videos. They will keep continuing. Thank you.